members of a strong and proud community have been reduced to mere faces on a wall. As questions mount and answers lay hidden in the foggy mists of Ragged Eye. Okay, what do we know? Very little. You know, I've conducted over 35 interviews. Nobody knows anything. Um, somebody knows something. It's a small island. You can't just drown two bodies, drag them to two different locations and dump them without somebody seeing something. You know, the bigger question for me is why? I mean, why would someone go through all this trouble? I mean, what's the point? Do you think we're looking for one killer? Do you think whoever killed Bill and Mac also killed Harrison Shaw? Why, do you have a thought? What if what happened to Mr. Shaw is in some kind of retaliation for Mac and Bill? Keep going. Look, you and I both know that those boys were fishing in the restricted zone, and you can be damn sure that Harrison Shaw knew it too. So, what if he had them killed as some kind of worm? Uh, Harrison Shaw could be a bastard, but I never figured him for a killer. Well, what do you think he'd do if he found out that someone was breaking his rules? is going on on Ragged Isle, the people in these photographs that you took are directly involved. Well, what makes you so sure? I wasn't. But then, then Mr. Shaw was murdered, and I was. Well, aside from Mr. Shaw, we have Mr. Trundle, my boss, who, by the way, does not know I have these photos. Let's keep it that way. I intend to. And then we have... Rose Fuller. She's head of the Island Council, uh, runs Lobster Fest. Oh, I remember her from the town meeting. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Rose. She inherited a ton of money from Wilbur Henson, who made a fortune in sardines. Sardines? Sardines. And this is Gertie Kendrick. The author? That's the one. More popular than Stephen King. In Knox County, anyways. There's a fifth person in these photos. Yeah. And her face doesn't show up in any of them. You don't recognize her back? I don't. Okay, so... The four we do know, what do they have in common? Except from the fact that they're all rich, nothing obvious. They're all rich for different reasons. Oh, yes. And no. They all have different careers, but they all inherited a lot of money, and not from parents. More sardine fortunes? No. They all had mentors. Uh, Vance Trundle inherited from Elmer Stringfellow, um, former editor of The Star. Uh, Gertie Kendrick inherited from Agnes McGuire, another author. And Harrison Shaw inherited from Richard Stockton, uh, another lobsterman, the good lobsterman. So... 
These mentors, did they leave anything to their families? None of them had families. No wives, no husbands, no daughters, no sons. And none of these four had families either. But all of them have protégés. Advance is the latest to acquire one. That would be me. That would be you. So what does this all mean? What are we dealing with? A, a cult? A, a secret society? What? I don't know. But I'm going to know. Do you want in? Yeah, I do.